Okay, now we're going to look at Google Docs. There's a couple different ways to create a new Google Doc. You can do it directly from your Google Drive by clicking on the new button and then down to Docs and that will open a new doc. Another way to do it is just to open a new tab and type docs.new and that will automatically open uh, a Google Doc as long as you are signed into your Google account. So once we've done this, first thing you should really do is give your document a title. So we'll click on the title. I'm just going to call this test doc. And now we can get started entering text. So really all you have to do is click in the document and type. And it's very, very easy to add text to your Google Doc. Um, some other things that you might want to add is a header or a footer. The header comes at the top of the page, the footer is at the bottom of the page. Simply by double clicking in that region, you'll be able to add those things. So there's your header. Uh, you can decide if you want the first page to be different. Uh, if you would click on that, it would give you a, like a just a clean space. You get something different on the first page, some other header options, how you're formatting it to have page numbers, things like that. And you'll notice down here at the bottom, we can do the same thing in the footer, double click, you'll have a chance to enter a footer. Um, another way you could do that is from the insert menu, just scroll down to headers and footers. There's even some um, keyboard shortcuts to show you how to do that. So that, that's something that you can add into your Google Doc. Um, other things that you might want to add are comments. That's one of the things that makes all of these Google tools so great is the ability to collaborate and comment. To do that, you simply highlight some text. And at that point, you have some options again. You can either click on the comment button here at the top of your screen, or you'll notice once you highlight that text, over here on the side comes three options. The top one is to add a comment. The second one is new. It's the ability to add an emoji reaction to what you just highlighted. And the third one is to add some suggestions. So let's look at the first one first. So comment. So you can simply add a comment. Done. Now this will appear over here on the side. Comments will be visible to anybody who has edit or commenting access to the document. So someone who only has view access will not be able to view the comments. Just something worth knowing. So now let's go down and do another one and take a look here. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to highlight this. We're going to go to the comments again, but this time, instead of just typing text, I'm actually going to call out someone specific. So I am going to share this with myself. So I typed the at symbol and what that's going to allow me to do is to, to mention someone specific. So I'll be mentioning my personal account. By doing that, it's going to basically send me an email saying, hey, you've been called out in this comment, better take, a, take note of it. You could also assign it to that person, which really just brings attention that, that you know, you're telling someone you need to do something specific here. This comment is assigned to you. So I'm going to go ahead and comment. So first it's saying, hey, that person doesn't have access. So I'm going to give myself. I'm going to give myself commenting access on this document. I could also give myself editing access. And done. Okay. So I've got a regular comment, a comment where I have mentioned someone specific. And now let's check out this new, this new feature here. I'm going to add an emoji reaction and I really have the whole gamut of, of uh, options here. So I'm going to go ahead and add this one. And now when you see, you see test number three has got that, that star, star face. So you have some different options when you're adding comments. Um, the last one that we didn't really look at, and I'll be honest, you don't need to know this for the test, but it's still worth, worth knowing is this option to add suggestions. Suggestions are nice because what you can do in a, with a suggestion is, let's say um, I'm going to suggest that this not be called number four, but it actually be called test number five. It doesn't remove the first, what was there originally. It just says, hey, how about you replace that with something else? So if someone was looking at this and they want, they could then go say, yeah, that's a great idea, accept the suggestion, or they could, you know, nix the suggestion and say, no, thank you. So those are some of the options. Now I'm in suggest mode. I need to go back over to editing mode. And finally, one other thing to know about Google Docs is the ability to add bulleted list. 
You can also add numbered lists. So it'll have just the numbers. Every time I hit enter, it adds another number. What's kind of cool about both the bulleted list and the numbered list is you can really change some things within it. So you can decide how you want the, the list to look. It could be numbered, it could be using letters, Roman numerals. Um, and let's say if I, I did here number one, if I hit the tab button, it's going to automatically indent and go on to whatever's next. Something that Google has added recently are checkboxes. We've been asking for this in Google Docs for a long time, and it's finally here. So you've got up at the top your bulleted list, numbered list, and now you have your checkboxes. So you could put items here like grocery shop or um, create concert program, set up the stage, all of the things that you need to put there in your list. And when you complete the item in your list, click on the little box, it puts a check mark and crosses it out. It's still visible, but it shows you that it's been completed. This can also be really helpful for students to have a list of exactly what they need to complete. First step, get out your folder. Second step, put your music in order. Third step, start warming up on your instrument, things like that. You can use those um, check boxes for a lot of different things.